What's up guys? Welcome to the Distracted Entrepreneur with Coach Ed. So you're probably thinking, you know what, what is a distracted entrepreneur? If I were to go on record, I would probably say close to 80, maybe 90% of entrepreneurs in their first five years are distracted. And I'm going to break down to you guys over the next few minutes why that is, how to defeat that, how to make that no longer your issue, but most importantly, how to get to that place called success. Because I tell you this, distractions are just imaginary hurdles that are designed to stop you from doing just what you're working so hard at doing. So let's dive on in. My name is Coach Ed. I am a business success coach. I have been a business success coach and entrepreneur for about five years now. Um, I've had the pleasure to work with some of the likes of everybody from NFL players to R&B singers to uh, preachers to teachers to lawyers, doctors, engineers. You can name it. I've been able to work with them um, from the aspect of coaching, whether business or success coaching or by way of my publishing company or my business that has a, a graphic design and website design arm called Vision Birthers. So that's me. But outside of that, I am somebody who has been distracted. Now, you're probably saying, really? Yeah, you? Distractions? No way. Well, if you didn't think that, cool. But if you did, let me tell you the truth. It's been me too. So I'll tell you this. In my last five years of being an entrepreneur, distractions I have learned over time come and they go. They come fast. They go fast. They come back again. They go back, go fast again. They come back around. If you can name it, you can think of it, I promise you, distractions are typically in some sort of life cycle. or They're a part of your life cycle simply to do this. Stop you from making progress. I wholeheartedly believe that when we realize or figure out the science to defeating our own distractions, we have basically become an unstoppable machine that absolutely nothing can touch. And when it comes to being an entrepreneur, you cannot afford financially, physically, emotionally, time-wise to be distracted. I'm telling you from somebody who has been distracted as an entrepreneur, and I'll give you a little bit of my story. So as a distracted entrepreneur, I was the one that had a dream, potential, abilities, skills, but I was all over the place. Often people don't think of you being all over the place as in you being distracted, but in all actuality, when you really think about it, somebody who's going in 18 different directions is distracted because at some point in time, you can assess and realize if you're going in 18 different directions, I guarantee you 16, 16 or, or more of those you're not supposed to be doing. That's right. The biggest distraction is not uh, the devil or money or sometimes your focus or your time. Sometimes the biggest distraction can be what all you are good at, all the directions that you're being pulled, and lastly, where you have not said no. That's right. The distracted entrepreneur often has an ability or an inability to say no. Before I go any further, I want you guys to say this with me. No. <laughs> no. I mean, keep going. No. That is the vocabulary word that every entrepreneur has to have in their repertoire. And I mean from jump. As simple as it is, but that no can be the thing that stops you from going on a downward path or a long journey into a lane or to endeavors or into ideas and concepts and into strategies that really do not apply to you, what you desire to do, and who you're called to affect and the people you're designed to service. I'm telling you, what I did in my first few years of, of being an entrepreneur was I said yes to everything. Biggest distraction ever. You know why? Because I was so focused with doing all those things that I said yes to, I completely forgot my original intent and my original why. So that's my distraction story. Let me break it down to you guys and make it real simple and easy. What is a distraction? So Webster's defines a distraction as a thing that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. I'm going to read it one more time. Webster's definition of distraction is a thing that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. Emphasis on full attention. So we're going to take a quick poll right here. You ready? On a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10. I said that right. How distracted are you? Remember, remember what the definition said. The definition was a thing that prevents someone from giving full attention, full attention to something else. My question to you on a scale of 1 out of 10, 
How distracted are you right now? I'll give you a few moments. Imagine some Jeopardy music is playing right here or some Cardi B or some Donnie McClurkin, whatever your thing is. Imagine that's going on right now. Time. Now, I believe for the group of you guys that actually told the whole truth from jump, you probably fell within that six to nine ratio. Because so often we are way more distracting than what we realize until someone asks us, hey, how distracted are you? So let me tell you why I say six to nine. Because the average person in America right now has family, friends, uh, social economic issues, financial issues, uh, dreams, goals, and desires, uh, the desire to build a, a solid relationship or solid belief system. You have so many deep, different things that naturally pull your attention as soon as you jump out of bed. Oh, I forgot the big one, social media. We all do that. We all are faced with these same imaginary hurdles. Emphasis, I'm calling distractions, imaginary hurdles. We are all faced with the same imaginary hurdles day after day. But it's up to you to decide which hurdles am I going to jump on this journey called today or which hurdles am I going to remove so I don't have to waste excess energy jumping a hurdle that could just no longer be on the track on this journey that I'm going through called today. Really simple. I'm telling you guys, the best way to defeat distractions is to come at it from a practical point. Before I give you some practical steps that I've used to defeat distractions over the years that have garnered me, I can honestly say much success. I'm going to give you what I believe are the purpose of distractions. These three things. The first thing, write it down, energy. So my philosophy on energy, there is no way that you can split your energy. Hear me, there is no possible way, in my opinion, that you can split your energy. For example, people say, you can't, I'm gonna get 50 here, 50 there. You can't give 50, 50. It's either you're gonna be all in or you're gonna be all out. We're talking about business here, guys. We're talking about being entrepreneurs. You don't have the luxury to go half at any point in time. You've got to always give it your all. And this is why you not giving it your all is the doorway to you putting your money in somebody else's hands. Because you not giving it your all translates to poor production, poor presentation, sometimes lazy concepts, lazy ideas, lazy products that somebody would say, oh, I don't need that when I can go over here and get this maximum impact moment or maximum impact purchase and get all I need in one scoop. You as an entrepreneur cannot afford to have your energies split. Hear me, energies cannot be split. Energy, just like time, are one of those things that once it's gone, it is gone and cannot be picked back up again until you start over. So for example, think about it like this. When you expelled, got up one day and you expelled probably three hours in the gym, so that's a lot of energy being released out of your body, and then boom, after the gym, what happens? You're either hungry, then you're sleepy, or you're sleepy, and then you're hungry. Because guess what? That energy has been misspelled. It's been given away. It's been released, right? And how do you re-energize? Stopping, resting, and starting over. Think about it. This is why an entrepreneur cannot afford to have your energies going into places that it shouldn't be. You can't afford to have it split between things that it should be and things that it's not because those things that it should be will not be able to get the full and the best you. You are at your best when you're energized, when you're focused, when your time management is there. When you are at your best, you are able to produce 10 times more than what I believe the average person could in a year. Yes, I said that. When you, that you, that right there, right there, you, that's watching this. When you are at your best, nothing can stop you. But one of the best ways to be at your best is to protect your energy. It can't go everywhere. It can't be in every project. It can't be in, in, in every endeavor. And it can't be put in the hands of others. You've got to protect your energy at all costs. Distractions are here to take your energy. The second thing, to take your time. Now, in this day and age, it is so easy to become distracted. We have this thing called a phone. We've got watches. We've got iPads. We've got people calling us. It's so easy for your time to get away from you. I can I tell you guys all the time, well, I can tell you, like, if you follow me or connect with me via social media or anything like that, I'll tell you in a heartbeat, man, my day got away from me. How many times have you said, my day got away from me? That's just not a day getting away from you sometimes. That's time. And that time translates to money, potential, energy, products, clients, all got away from you 
because your time was not intact. Let me tell you this about time. You can't get it back. And once it's gone, it's absolutely gone. Distractions come to take your time management. Not just your time, but your time management. The strongest person, and I'll even tell you, if you guys study millionaires and billionaires around the world, I tell you this, they all have this one thing in common. They have a consistent routine. Time is important. Time and energy are the th two of the three currencies that as an entrepreneur are essential for you building this empire, or you building this business, or this brand, or this um, this product, or this lifestyle service, whatever it may be, your time and your energy are the things in which you have to protect the most. Are you ready? Number three, the third thing, the third purpose of a distraction is to take your focus. Now, I know we live in a day and age where there's so many medical components and different things going on that are giving us um, what, I like to what I like to consider creative labels for our lack of focus, whether it's ADHD or this or that, it's a focus issue. But think about it like this, when you know that distractions are coming after your focus, because I'll tell you this, the NAACP has said this for years, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. My grandmother and my mother have always said this, you can do anything you put your mind to. So if a mind is a terrible thing to waste and I can do anything I put my mind to, what happens when my mind is everywhere except where it should be? When it comes to distractions, you've got to make a decision. Is it me or is it going to be me? Because either you are going to be your biggest distraction or you are going to be your biggest weapon for distractions. It all starts here. It all says, hey, you know what? I'm going to protect my energy so I'm not having that conversation. I'm not taking on that project. I'm setting a boundary between, hey, you know what? I've done enough for you. I've taken you as far as I can go. Boom, then, boom, taken care of. Or is it a time thing? Saying, you know what? Let me create a healthy routine. I know part of my issue is that I sleep in every day, and so I'm forced to work late at night. But when I really look at my life and how I'm wired, I'm not really designed to work late at night. The midnight oil does not work well for me. My mind doesn't great, does not flow that well. So what should I do? What's my priority? Organizing my time to get the best of me at the right times. And then lastly, focus. It's a decision here. When you are focused, you produce much better quality items, products, services, videos, content, whatever you want to name, it, whatever you can think of. When you are focused, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, you create greatness. When you are focused, when I am focused, when every other panelist is focused, when this when this event host is focused, when his friends and his family are focused, we can create greatness. If you guys think that greatness is not does not come from or is not a direct uh, recipient or the must have when it comes to greatness, you've lost your mind. All of the greats that we know are focused. For example, Michael Jordan focused, Serena Williams focused, Martin Luther King focused, Barack Obama focused. Who else do you want to name? Name it. Right, go ahead. Name somebody right there. Focused. Beyonce. Focused. Jay-Z. Focused. Future. Focused. Tina Turner. Focused. If you can think of it, if it has been great, Michael Jackson. Focused. If you can think of it and it has been a great asset and a great attribute to life and to people, guess what? It has been focused. I'm going to breeze through these few signs to let you know if you're distracted or not, okay? These are, these are some practical signs to look for to notice if you're distracted. Number one, you have a lack of project completion. If you have a hard time completing things, you're distracted. Your energy is going somewhere that it shouldn't. Second thing, if you don't have a set routine, nine times out of 10, you go with the wind. And as a business owner, you can't afford to go with the wind. Going with the wind loses you money, time, and opportunity. The next thing, my, my belief, if you have a slow start to your day, every day, you're distracted because something is taking your mind, which is allowing you to not be able to sleep, whether it's your desire to sit and watch TV or whether your desire to talk on the phone, something is taking your energy and your time and it's causing you not to be able to have the energy and the time the next day to be able to maximize. Lastly, if you're a procrastinator, now I hate this. I hate this. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Because what it does to me, procrastination is a stewardship issue. When you think that you have time to waste later on, later on, or look at it like this. When you procrastinate, say you get a project right now in business owners, you get a project or it's an order right now. If you take care of that thing right now, guess what that does? 
create space for the next one to come. Now, I'm a believer in all things. I believe this, but I wholeheartedly know firsthand that when there's room, room can be filled. When there's space, space can be filled. Often, a lot of the reasons that certain things may not be happening for you is because your spaces are filled with things that could have been taken care of easily a little while ago. So those are the signs that you're distracted from Coach Ed. A lack of project completion, no set routine, slow starts to your day or consistent slow starts to your day, and lastly, procrastination. So I'm going to give you guys, just to help you out, I'm sorry if I'm taking too long, I want to give you some practical points, some practical steps that you can add to your day right now to help you eliminate distractions. And I'm telling you this, I'm telling you what I know. Someone who was once immensely distracted is very distractions are very little limited and they're very little right now when it comes to my business endeavors first one call a spade a spade the first step number one call a spade a spade in nice terms it's identify you have to say you know what i'm distracted you can't fix correct reverse reroute redirect what you first won't assess and accept is a problem call a spade a spade i'm distracted next thing Number two, assess the why. Everything under the sun has a root or a source. However you want to look at it, however you want to word it, assess the why. If you're saying, you know, I'm distracted, well, why am I distracted? What am I doing? What am I not doing? Who is in my ear? Who should not be in my ear? What am I doing with my time? Why am I doing this with my time? Sit down and assess the root. Why are you distracted? Get to the source. I call it myself the, the source search. Do your own source search. Look inside of you and say, you know what? I'm out, of, I'm out of control. I'm all over the place. What can I do to help get this in alignment? Because I've got to be in alignment. The next thing, number three, my favorite, commit to all things you. As a business owner, you have no, no room for your commitment to waver. You've got to commit to all things you. So outside of just your business development, and taking courses and understanding what marketing and branding and different things, different things that need to be done for your endeavor, you've also got to invest in you. So business owner, get up, walk the block every morning, do a slight little run, do an in-home workout, drink more water, come up off some of the caffeine or the unhealthy caffeine, make you some tea. You've got to get you in a better place and a better headspace because you are the head of your business. You are the thinker, you're the visionary, you're the leader, you're the one that casts the vision. You are all those things, so you have to be intact just as much as your business is intact. And last thing, my favorite one is number four, routine. Now, let me tell you guys a little secret of how I survive life and how I win in life. This right here is my 2020 planner. Now, for most people, it looks like a textbook or a workbook. But let me tell you something. Writing down and having a healthy routine starts with you being organized. For example, you should be organizing your weeks on Sunday nights if your week starts on a traditional Monday. You should not go into Monday without a plan of action. Even if you just schedule out your Monday and don't schedule out Tuesday, you need to have a plan. You need to have a system, a healthy routine, so that's you being in the bed at 10 o'clock whether you're asleep or not, and you're getting up at 7.30 no matter if you're tired or not, setting your alarm, whatever that routine or system is, you've got to fight for your routine because your routine is going to be the thing that unlocks your reward. A healthy routine will unlock great rewards, but you've got to have a good routine in place to be able to benefit you. I'm telling you this, focused people, centered people, and scheduled people change the world. Focused people, centered people, and scheduled people with minimal or little to no chaos are the ones who get paid. Focused people, centered people, and scheduled people are the ones that are leading the trail, leading not following behind. They're the trailblazers. You want to know why? Because a well-rested mind can change the world. But when you're distracted, you don't even rest well. I hope this session has helped you all in your journey. And as you go further into entrepreneurship or just life as a whole, you've got to say no to distractions. There's no need for you to be a distracted entrepreneur, preacher, teacher, athlete, business owner, parent, uh, leader, CEO, CFO, COO. You are better in your role and in your title and as in, in your position and doing what you're supposed to do when you're not distracted. Thank you guys so much. If you want more information on me, what I do, go to www.coachev.com. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, all those my handles are the same. It's Coach Ev. 
It's Coach F and Coach F. I look forward to connecting with you guys, um, getting to know more about you, and hopefully sitting down with you one-on-one -on -one to pick apart your ideas and your endeavors, and most importantly, to help you create a plan of action to go forward. And sometimes, if we need to defeat, if we need to mess up those distractions, if you need some help understanding where you're distracted or how to defeat your distractions personally, go to www.coachev.com as well. I promise you. I guess call me the distractions coach too. <laughs> I promise you we'll make this thing happen. Enjoy.